Brazil's car market, one of the biggest in the world, is in free fall. Sales, robust for most of last year, are now plummeting as consumers find credit has all but dried up. Car makers, starting with General Motors, are starting to fire workers to the fury of unions. Wellington Ribeiro was one of 800 sacked from GM's plant outside Sao Paulo. Now he has to find a way to support his young family, but prospects aren't good. Job cuts are accelerating across the country. I know that it won't be easy because there are a lot of unemployed people in the market. The market's bad. The companies aren't strong. It isn't going to be easy. After a decade-long boom, Brazil now has to tighten its belt. Unions and employer groups are trying to head off massive job losses and are calling for Brazil to cut sky-high interest rates. This doesn't have anything to do with the crisis from abroad. No, this is a Brazilian crisis. And this issue of interest rates is helping to worsen the situation. There are also rumblings of strikes to press for more government action. But for some, it's too late. The axe has already fallen and is poised to swing again and again.